This video is brought to you by the EA Creators Network and a special shout out to the EA Community Manager, Nick, for getting us these cards so we have a chance to show them to you. Hey guys, what's good? Rising Phoenix One. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at in the world. So today we're gonna do something we rarely do and something we haven't done before. What we rarely do, as you know, is play arena. PVP, real-time player versus player. And what we've never done is to play arena with our season six lineup. I play arena probably once a month since the end of season three when it was issued in beta form. At that point, I was playing kind of frequently, but pretty much season four to six, I just play maybe, maybe once a month in the arena, but I've never played with our season six lineup. I'm always playing with the multi-year lineup. We're gonna jump into the arena with this lineup and we're gonna see how we can do. Before we do that, let's uh, give a quick little update on the auction house glitch. Actually, it was more than a glitch. And if you haven't seen the pin posts in the official Discord, this is what we know. EA is compiling a list of user cards lost in the auction house. This is being done internally and there is no need to report anything to anyone. It will, however, take time and return of your cards and coins or however that is gonna work out is gonna happen in a rolling fashion, not everyone at once. I know this is a tough one for you guys, but EA is devoting a lot of time to cleaning up a mess created by Amazon through AWS Amazon Web Services. So let's try to be patient. I know that's hard, but I'm 100% confident that the team is doing everything they can do to get this straightened out for you guys, okay? All right, let's jump to the arena. And let's go ahead and queue up our first search. We're gonna try to get two in, but if I get four or five disconnects mid-game, um, this video is never gonna make its way to YouTube. So keep your fingers crossed. All right, let's go. And yeah, we've got a match. He has a multi-year lineup, 96. Win the tip, we got it. Thank goodness overalls don't matter here. Oh, nuts, that was a terrible start. Go ahead, Grand Hill. Boom, two-pointer. Yeah, I, I don't know why, but I've just never played with season six in arena. Dunks are the thing for the leaderboard, so I got a feeling that this guy's gonna be taking lots of dunks. Kick it, oh, Luca. Oh, look at Grand Hill come in and scoop that up, clean up Booker's mess. I think I said Luca, I meant D-Book. You know, playing defense though, if they're gonna be going in, oh, nice shot. Um, if they're gonna be going inside, it's a little tough um, because of the lag. Come on, come on, Grant Hill. Oh no, oh no. We are off to a bad start. Um, a block and a miss three. All right, I got a feeling they're gonna score here. No, that should have been blocked, nice shot. That is an Arena Cousins. Remember when Arena gave out both these great milestone, nice book. They gave out milestone Grandmasters and set Grandmasters and they were great cards. I missed that, nice block, Luca, nice block. AD out to Luca, Luca brings it in, doesn't get it. But there's Anthony Davis to clean up Luca's mess. This 90 AD, no doubt in my mind, is the best 90 overall card in the Player's Choice promo. If you have, oof, boy. If you haven't taken your 90 yet, I mean, consider it. I mean, if you need a point guard, take a point guard. Grand Hill, what is going on with our shooting? Our ping is a little bit high right now. Oh, nuts. All right, we are down. A minute to go. All right, let's get it together. <laughs> you know, every time in the first half of my first arena, it's like, uh, Luca from the wing. There we go. All right, we're tied up. This one will be close all the way, no doubt about it. Obviously, this guy seems to play a fair amount of arena. 
that's going in. Yeah, because he's just not missing shots. So uh, we can't afford to miss any more shots. D book from the corner. Nice. He was on the line though, so it was only a two. We're tied at 14. Come on, come on. Let's play some form of defense for crying out loud. Oh no. That's a two pointer for John. A 101 John Collins. Yeah, thank goodness overall doesn't matter in the arena. D book. Boom. Nice three. We've taken our first lead, I think. Well, other than the first possession. Come on, nice, nice by defense by D book. And he slams it home this time. He doesn't need Davis to clean up for him. Let's go, let's go. He's gonna get that three. No, it's a miss. Rebound by Cousins, misses. Wow, come on, Luca. Boom, all right, that's probably wasn't necessary, but in case they steal it and get a last minute or last second three, we're giving them a good game. I, I don't I don't know what has happened to Arena. When it first came into play, man, um, there was a lot of chatter back and forth that we don't, we just don't have anymore, you know? GG's always got a GG back. All right, uno mas, and then we're gonna wrap this up with a bit of a rant, <laughs> but we'll see. All right, we've got a season six eighty nine. Very cool. We win the tip, thank you Jokic. Come on, book from the wing. All right, better start already. We're warmed up now, right? We also have a better ping now. Nice block by Luca. Oh my. Go ahead, Jokic, boom. Okay, we're on the leaderboard. <laughs> um, five to zip. This is Luca versus Jason Kidd, and he's dribbling like a fool out there. This guy has some dribble skills, right? Nice shot, nice shot. Um, all right, let's go, let's go. Come on, oh gosh, good block by them too, really good block. Uh-oh, easy dunk. Five to five, here we are having trouble again. Come on, come on. Come on, Grant Hill. Boom, eight to five. Looking better, looking definitely better this time than the last time, even though the score isn't showing it. Um, I think this guy's better, to tell you the truth. Obi Toppin, dang, right? He's got that high flyer in there. Luca, oh wow, it's blocked. All right, we're gonna inbound it to Luca and then try a little pump fake, wait for him to bite. If he does bite, and we'll take the shot. There's the bite, there's the shot. Nice, Luca, nice. All right, we're up by four. That is a little better, right? A little better. Gosh darn. Jason Kidd is really looking good out there. Oh, nice little punt. Ah, he should have taken the three. He should have just taken the three there. And yeah, Obi Toppin doesn't get it. We're gonna take the dunk with Grant Hill. Kaboom, man. All right, we're up by six. Much better, huh? Much better. This guy, he definitely has better dribble skills and stuff like that, absolutely. No doubt in my mind. Oh, nice, nice, nice. We totally bit on the pump fake. He drives by us and then Toppin has a high flyer dunk, right? Yikes, there, oh, look at AD. And AD has some dunks too, it turns out, right? Nice job. Come on, come on. Uh-oh. Oh, wow, I don't know why he didn't take it. But he likes shooting with Kid. That one misses. Come on, take it all the way, Joka. Oh, he misses it. Look who's there, Anthony Davis, to clean up the mess again. I'm gonna say it again, best 90 overall Grandmaster in the Player's Choice promo. This guy's dribble skills are as good as I've seen. So uh, he's worked on that. He's, he's this guy's a good player, man. And he's you know he's playing with a 89 lineup. I'm not sure why we needed to take that shot. I lost track of the time. All right, sorry, bro. I wish there was a sorry, bro, but we'll give him a GG. 
I don't expect a GG back um, because I shouldn't have taken that last shot. That wasn't cool. Um, all right. Anyway, we won. And yeah, that's our trip to the arena. You know what? That was fun. And the weird thing is that every time I go into the arena, I have fun playing the game, but then I just never go back. I don't know why. With the way showdown searches are now with the tanked multi-year lineups, I mean, my gosh, I search sometimes as long as an hour just to get a season six lineup. It's a total mess. For me, showdown is almost unplayable because of that. So maybe I'll spend more time in the arena because whenever we go in there, we seem to have a pretty good time. And the other thing about the arena, again, there is no overall advantage or overall disadvantage. So in the first one, our overall was lower. That's not a disadvantage. In the second one, our overall was a little bit higher. That's not an advantage. You just play it out in player versus player. So maybe we'll do that a little more often. I, I don't know. I would strongly prefer to see the search algorithms fixed to separate searches multi-year versus multi-year, the season six versus season six, and nada multi-year versus season six. And if that's not possible, then my strong preference is just get multi-year out of showdown. It's enough that you can use it in arena. If you really want to use your multi-year lineup, it's always available for you in arena and it has been for the last two seasons. So that's a lot more use than we had with our multi-year lineup in the first three seasons. You had a little legacy section and every now and then you got to play some promo events in there, but that was it. What I don't like to see happening is multi-year lineups just taking over gameplay. And the primary form of gameplay in NBA Live Mobile, as everyone knows, is showdown, right? If you're gonna play a bunch of gameplay in a day, most people are gonna do it in showdown. But this huge loophole that's been opened up for less than scrupulous users to tank their multi-year lineups by seven, eight, nine, 10, 12 team OVRs versus what the overall is of their starting lineup. Yeah, that's, that's beyond cheese, man. I mean, it's not against the rules. So it's technically not cheating, but ethically and morally, in my book, it's cheating. It's cheating. We'll just do it without the G at the end, right? Cheating, right? Call it what you want. Uh, call it cheese. Call it, you know, bull. Uh, I just call it cheating. What are you cheating? You're cheating the matchmaking system to gain an unfair advantage. That's not cool, guys. That is so not cool. If I lose subscribers over these comments, so be it. What I've always told you since the beginning of this channel back in late winter, early spring of this year is that I would always tell you the truth as I see it. And the truth as I see it is game in the matchmaking system is beyond uncool. All right, it's beyond uncool. So would love to see that change. But if it doesn't change, I guess the default is to play in the arena. Rant over. And you know what? So is this video. It's over. We're done. We're out of here. There's no more. And remember, peace out.